In this video, we're going to be talking about graph isomorphisms, um, which is another way of saying we're trying to figure out when two graphs are essentially the same. So first, let's talk about when two graphs are exactly the same. Two graphs G and H are equal if the vertices of G and the vertices of H are the same, and the edges of G and the edges of H are exactly the same. Uh, okay, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so here, these two graphs, G and H in green, they look slightly different, right? The drawings are slightly different. But if you look at the vertex set of G, it's V1, 2, 3, and 4. And the vertex set of H is V1, 2, 3, and 4. So those match exactly. And then if you look at the edges of G, you have V1, V2, V2, V3, V3, V4, V4, V1. And then also this diagonal edge, V4, V2. And then if you go and look at the edges in H, you have V1, V2, V2, V3, V3, V4, V4, V1. And then again, this diagonal edge, V4, V2. So it turns out, even though these two green graphs look slightly different, they are in fact equal. Their vertex set and edge sets are exactly the same, down here written in yellow. Okay, <clears throat> what about these graphs in pink? Okay, so these, the pictures look exactly the same, uh, and obviously the vertex sets will be the same, V1, 2, 3, 4, V1, 2, 3, 4, uh, in both G and H, and it makes sense to us somehow that these graphs should be the same, right? I mean, they look basically the same, but if you think about the edges, let's think about the edges of G, so we have V1, V2, that's the top edge, then we have V2, V3 on the right, then we have V3, V4, and V4, V1. That's the edge on the left. And then we have the diagonal, V4, V2. And remember, it doesn't matter what order we actually write these vertices in. V4, V4 V1 is the same as V1, V4. Uh, the order doesn't matter in a graph unless it's a directed graph. Okay, so this is the same edge set. Um, as G above, right? Because this is the same graph. Well, now let's look at the edges of H. So we have V1, V2. V1, V2. We have V2, V3. That's the top edge. The right edge is V3, V4. The bottom edge is V4, V1. So far, so good. But then what's the diagonal edge? It's V1, V3, right? So here we've got different edges in these two graphs. So even though the pictures look essentially the same, these graphs are not equal. Okay, so these graphs are not equal. Well, that's not that great because in some sense, if you look at these pictures, that you want them to be the same thing, right? I mean, the pictures look exactly the same. So that's where the idea of isomorphism comes in. It turns out that G and H in this picture in pink, they're called what are called isomorphic graphs. So <clears throat> G and H are not equal, but they are isomorphic. Well, what exactly does that mean? Um, you can get a more formal definition in the book, but basically two graphs are isomorphic. So here I'm using G1 and G2 to represent arbitrary graphs. Two graphs are isomorphic if you can make them equal by relabeling the vertices. Okay, so if you can make them equal by relabeling the vertices. So for example, if instead up here, if, in, if instead of calling this V1, we say, never mind, that's called, instead of being V2, that's going to be V1. This is going to be V2. This is going to be V3. And this is going to be V4. Well, now the two pictures are the same, right? And you can see that we would have fixed the edge sets, right? Because now the pictures will match exactly. So if all you have to do is relabel the vertices in one graph or the other, and that will make them equal, then that means essentially they have the same structure, right? The, the edges connecting the vertices, all those relationships are the same. It was just what you were calling the vertices that's different. And so that's what it means to be isomorphic. So let's look at a couple of examples. Okay, so we'll start with this one. Our G and H here in blue, are these isomorphic? So you may want to pause and think about this or just answer to yourself because I'm about to give the answer. The answer here is going to be no, right? And why not? This one has five vertices. 
This one has four vertices. They don't even have, there's no way they could have the same vertex set. Um, so, no, they have different orders. So that's worth noting, um, and I write it out explicitly at the bottom here in just a second. But if you want two graphs to have any hope of being isomorphic, they need to have the same order, right, which is the number of vertices. Also, you might be thinking, well, these graphs don't even have any labels, right? I mean, so these are what are called unlabeled graphs. There aren't any um, sort of indication about what we're calling the vertices here or over here. Uh, and that's fine. Essentially, what it means is, right, we can relabel the edges. So, I mean, if you want to think about it, you can just drop the, the re from there. So if you can label the vertices, uh, I said edges earlier, I meant vertices. Uh, if you can relabel the vertices, so for instance, we can give these vertices any labels we want, and we could give these vertices any labels we want, and if those result in equal graphs, then they're still going to be isomorphic. Okay, so, but these have different number of vertices, so of course they're not isomorphic. Um, okay, so how about these? So, this is a cycle, right? It's a four cycle. We talked about that class of graphs, right? So V1, V2, V3, V4, V1. That completes the circuit. <clears throat> or the cycle. So now this also has four vertices. Okay, good. Now, are these going to be the exact same? No, they aren't. Okay, they're not going to be equal. For example, this has the edge V2, V4, and G doesn't have an edge V2, V4. But are they isomorphic? So again, you may want to think about this. And here the answer is, yes, they are. Because, if you imagine this, so right now if you try to follow this in the cycle, you can go V1, V2, V4, V3, V1. But this one goes, G goes from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 1. So all we have to do is say, okay, 1 to 2, scrap this, we're going to call this V3 now. And scrap this, we're going to call this V4 now. And now this cycle also goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay, so even though these pictures um, look different, as long as you can relabel the vertices so that the vertex vertices are exactly the same, the vertex sets are exactly the same, and the edge sets are exactly the same after relabeling, then they will be isomorphic. And you can check. You could write out the edge set here and the edge set here um, and check that they will, in fact, be the same. So these are isomorphic. And there are a couple more some um, substantial examples in the textbook if you want to look at that. This has just been a quick introduction for what it means uh, to be isomorphic. And just a quick note down here, if you have two graphs that are isomorphic, then they have got to have the exact same order and size. So of course, if you want the vertex sets to be equal, they have to have the same size. That's order. Um, they have to have the same order. The graphs have to have the same order. Uh, and if the graphs have to have the same size, that means that the edge sets have the same size, right? So, of course, if you don't even have the same number of things in those sets, they're not going to be equal. So that's just a quick check, of course. Do they have the same order and size? Because if the answer is no to either of those, you can just stop, like we did in Part A. Okay, so that has been our brief introduction to graph isomorphisms. And isomorphism is just a way of saying, okay, these graphs aren't exactly the same, but they are basically the same. So in the future, when we talk about listing all graphs of a certain type, we mean all non-isomorphic graphs of a certain type. Because essentially, if two graphs are isomorphic, you're dealing with the same structure.